This is code.org. Let's see what we got going on. Ooh, okay, so we have our countdown screen for our app. That is a lot. Um, and that's going to keep going and distract me. We're going to switch that. All right, declare and initialize variables. Our first step in achieving emoji movie bliss. Wow, we're going uh, real strong on this. Is to declare and initialize the variables that we want to use in the program. Read the comments for the variables that already exist to see what they do. All right, so, yep, it's going to sync. Cool. All right, so what do we already have? And remember, guys, comments are these two slashes. They're for us, people who program. They don't actually get run when you hit run. It's just notes. Uh, choose questions and answers from the list below to declare and initialize the questions and answers. Don't let this wording, these vocab words, scare you, right? Declare is to create a variable. This is declaring a variable. And then initialization would be to assign it. So like equals two or one, apparently. That's the initialization. Doing just this is to declare it. If I do this, I'm initializing and declaring it. So this is a declare and initialization of it. Declaration and initializing. All right, that being said, uh, we will declare and initialize question and answer variables. First, there's a helpful chart uh, that you might find useful to include in your startup code. All right, so I am going to use what they have. Now, I want to point something out. Let me see if I can shrink this. This is super frustrating. At least you might find it super frustrating. So let's say, for instance, I'm like, I definitely want to do Jurassic Park for my first one. Cool. Let me go over here. I'm going to hit uh, the space. I'm going to hit equals. And I'm like, all right, Jurassic Park. Oh, wait, I can't click on it. Oh, OK, well, let me add an emoji. Wait, how do I? What I would do, what I would recommend that I find easiest, right? Let's not fight the computer that much. I'm just going to go to show text. But -da. now I'm going to do my equals and I'm going to go up here. Let me get these guys and highlight it, right? You can just drag your mouse too, of course, however you want to highlight it. Now, if you're on a Mac, it's Command C. If you're on a Windows computer, it's Control C. Same uh, with Chrome guys, or Chrome books. Uh, or you can always right click and copy. That's all I'm doing. Now, before I paste it though, I'm gonna put two quotes because this is gonna be a string. We have to have this in quotes, so it processes it as text because that's what we want out of this. It's not gonna understand this without those quotes. All right, that's my first one. Let me get into these other guys. There we are. Now, it might fight you on it, so just be careful if it does do two of these because you did it after. You're gonna have to use delete and erase and get a bit frustrated. Um, so just be careful, it's easiest to do it in advance. Okay, so let me just check show box because I can kind of see and that will also let me know guys I'll mess up sometimes and it won't let me do that if I have an error. So it's helpful. All right. Now the answers obviously they give us these are the questions and the answers are also in strings. So like Jurassic Park, I'm going to go down here equals and I will misspell that I shouldn't admit that as a teacher, but I will. So I'm just going to do control C or you can right click and do copy or command click on a Mac or command C on a Mac. Uh, and say this is going to be my Jurassic Park one, Kung Fu Panda, which is kind of cool. I want to know Kung Fu. I don't know about being a panda. Aren't they lazy? I think pandas are mean. Random fact. And if they're not mean, don't correct me because I, I don't want to be wrong. Uh, ah! And what's our last one? Beauty and the Beast. It's kind of a sad movie where she gets like kidnapped by a scary monster. Anyone ever think of that? I just never, never really hit me right, to be honest. All right, so that looks good. Let's see if I can do show blocks. Great. And so we have our questions uh, variables assigned and our answer variables assigned, declared and initialized. Let me just double check here. Okay, and yep, we are good to go. I guess I'll just hit run. Oh, I thought it was going to work. All right, onward.